Friends, in this video for I Thought Wealth, I'm going to talk to you on the topic, the herd mentality in MF investing. It's not as if herd mentality is restricted just to investing in direct stocks. There is also a huge trend in the MF space. Most people gravitate towards buying just a few funds at different points in time. Everybody wants to buy only that fund. Why? Because sometimes some funds show extremely outlier near term performance. So when you see that the one month, three month and six month of a fund is doing exceptionally well. The tendency is for everybody who checks this out to invest only in that fund. So the fund keeps on getting money. In fact, the fund swells in size many times if it's able to do this for one or two years. It becomes a de jure choice for both investors who are doing it themselves, who go in the direct option and to those who are sold these products by the financial ecosystem. The banks, the MFDs, the distributors, everybody gravitates towards selling what is easy to sell. This creates a herd mentality in mutual funds as well. So just a handful of funds receive disproportionate inflows. This herd mentality also distorts the investment behavior of the fund manager. Imagine getting money in every day and your portfolio has performed because of a set of stocks which are not very liquid. So suddenly you are forced to deploy far more money than your portfolio stocks can absorb. This happens all the time. So what does the fund manager do? He is getting the money, he deploys the money in the same stocks because his conviction in those stocks is so high that he is not willing to think beyond those stocks in a hurry. Or he wants to give himself more time to think of new ideas. Imagine a small cap fund getting money way beyond what it can deploy. This is something that happens in every cycle. It happened in 18, it's happening now, it will happen again. So the money gets deployed at elevated valuations. Imagine four or five small cap funds getting money which they cannot handle. Nobody closes their fund and say that we don't want inflows. When the flows are coming, they say bring them all on, we want it. So they take on all the money and deploy all the money in a space where liquidity is low, spiking impact cost. So herd mentality gives more capital than a fund manager can handle and that guy in turn goes and deploys the money in a hurry because next morning he has to deploy. That in turn creates very high impact cost because as they buy the valuation goes up. That further creates more herd mentality because the next month when you see this impact cost is next month's performance. So more money comes chasing these funds. Fund manager collects more money and creates more impact cost and this vicious cycle of impact cost being mistaken for performance, giving more flows, creating more impact cost, getting further mistaken for performance has been going on. This is not just in small cap, it can happen in every space, but in small cap, it's very accented, it's very deeply impactful. Nobody thinks what will happen if money goes out of the same fund at the same pace because everybody wants to be a part of that party and they want to pour money in. So we end up creating a herd mentality through our behavior as investors in funds where the capacity of the fund to absorb so much capital is limited. Effectively, the volatility goes up and we start mistaking that volatility for performance. 
This is how herd mentality plays out in mutual funds. The last two years, this has been happening in multiple schemes. I would not name any scheme because that would get a lot of people very upset. But rest assured that a lot of herd mentality is breeding impact cost which you are all mistaking for performance and giving more money to those fund managers. Someday, we are running the risk of a reverse cycle happening in the same space. And that in turn will take away all the gains. And all those who come in last will be left with losses. This is what herd mentality in mutual funds always does. And I would advise all of you to be aware of this prospect and how this works so that in future you will protect yourself and stay safe. Happy investing.